3D printing is the technology of the future. Heck, someone even 3D printed a car with it. In this video, we 3D printed go-kart parts to put on our go-kart. Let's do it! We printed five parts, and we're gonna rank them on which ones we like the best. First up, we designed these end caps for our frame. These end caps help keep debris and water out of our frame on the end right here, and they also help with the look of the go-kart. So, we need to take these off so we have a place to get our new ones on. As you can see, it's a little rusty in there. These little cheap Chinese ones are not very good at blocking the water, and we've also broken them. So, we'll put in one of our 3D printed ones that are nice and long. Will they work? It seems a little big. We'll see. Is it flexible enough? Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, oh, my. oh my! That was just... <laughs> that was just catastrophic, was the way that broke apart. That's not how we expected it to go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, back to the talk for. <laughs> Okay, I think we need to rank these a little bit towards the bottom. They didn't yeah, work. Yeah, I mean, they have potential, but... <laughs> <laughs> Not in this tape. <laughs> Maybe we'll come back to these. Yeah, yeah, we'll come back to them. On to the next one. Next up, although strange on a go-kart, we 3D printed a cup holder, and it self-stabilizes. Okay, so here is our cup holder. For now, we have it hose clamp on because we haven't committed to it yet. If you guys like it, comment down below if you want to see this actually integrated on the go-kart. I mean, that'd be kind of sick. But now, it's just hose clamped on. It levels itself moves pretty freely, but still keep the drink in there. But, um, I don't know about you, Tyson, but I'm getting kind of thirsty. I know. We don't have any waters out here. Oh, let's go get something. All right. Uh, All right. Let's test out this cup holder. Oh, it works. Oh, yeah. Let's All right. go. It is a really weird look. <laughs> yeah, it's strange to see a, a cup holder on the go-kart in the first place. Wow, that is... Uh, <laughs> I don't know why people don't have cup holders on the go-kart, honestly. Yeah, I mean, weight saving. Yeah. You trying to race or something? Why? What a beautiful day to go on a ride on the go-kart. Thirsty. Ah. Okay, Kyson, what do you think? I think it's good to have a lid on your cups <laughs> when you have when you are driving. Um, that's probably a better idea. Yeah, yeah, sounds good. Or just not have a cup of one in the first place. But it does work. And you know, if you're just going for a cruise and Yeah. Comment down below if you guys think we should keep it on our go-kart. Our go-kart has a slight problem. This is our brake lever that we use to, well, brake and its grip right here just slides off. So, we 3D printed a little sleeve that should go over the brake lever and we can put this on top of it so that it doesn't slide off as easily. Okay, so we got it on, but does it really work? It seems good, but... I think it works, Tyson. Yeah, I think so. Well, let's try it one more time. Okay, yeah, yeah. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> All right, Tyson, what do we rank it? I think this is A, even S tier. I mean, it, it has a simple purpose, simple job. It does its job perfectly. Yeah, I agree. It has a I say it's S here. I th okay, I think so too. Yeah. Now for those of you paying attention, you might have noticed this. And I think it's better if we let AJ introduce this one. This is our 3D printed phone holder. So this is our phone holder. 
Not only does it feature our logo twice, it also holds our phone arm very strong with some zip ties. We also connected it to our go-kart using this piece of metal right here that so we can clamp it on. These clamps are super tight fitting and they will stay on even in the bumpiest terrain. You know, and one thing that I really like about this, this looks like a real like digital dash now. It looks really cool. It's really cool to see when you're driving. Okay, Kyson, where do we rank this? I think it's somewhere in between a B or an A. I agree. Although it works very well, it's very strong, there are some flaws in it. It doesn't fit our phones perfectly, and we can't see it. Like, you can see the bottom two thirds of it, yeah. and the, the steering wheel gets in the way. When I was driving, I had to duck my head down to look and see the, see the speed, but you know, I think if we do some upgrades to it, I think it has potential to be an S tier, but for now, I think it's gonna stick between B and A. I think so too. Sweet. The only thing I think it could use, a little bit of update from get the steering wheel out of the way. I know, it's like this adjusted wrong. You yeah. know, like the steering wheel's in the way. We should do something about that. We should do something about it. And we did. Yeah, that is a 3D printed steering yoke, and there's only one way to test it. All right, it is yoke time. We have designed a 3D printed steering yoke for our go-kart, but it's gonna be crazy. I think it's gonna look super cool, but all yokes aside, let's get it on. What do you think, Kyson? A little weird, it's very wide, a um, little janky, but we're not gonna be trusting our life with this. I love the cockpit view. You can see oh, our yeah. phone mount way better now. Wow, it's clear view right there. Before, our steering wheel would Block our view. Oh yeah. And now it's just nice and open. Okay, so Kyson, you got your gloves on? Hold on. Yeah, a bit sharp. A little bit. All right, ready? Ready. Go for it. Kaisen, initial thoughts? It's fun. <laughs> it's catchy. But I mean, it still feels strong. I'm just scared to go hard on it. Knee room is a little bit more limited now because <laughs> it is wider. Yeah. I feel like I don't even know how to describe that experience. Like, it's just unique. But there's no other word to describe this. It's very unique. You ever driven an airplane? No, I don't do that uh, very often. I think some minor improvements to the phone mount and the yoke, they'll work together great. Yeah, I think so too. I still don't know if I'd trust going fast. If we're racing, I want to keep the wheel on. Yeah, I, I think it's a good idea. It's All right, Kaisen, what do you think? Where do you rank it? I think it's a B tier. You can't race with it. You gotta be safe still. Uh, it's sharp as it stands. You can fix that. Yep. But the last thing is big. It's very big. That's true. And you don't get as much leg room. I agree. I think B tier is kind of where it should stand right now. All right. Now, a while ago, Cohen commented on one of our videos and asked to print a Lamborghini bull and put it on our go-kart. Look at that! <laughs> so, oh my goodness, it, it stands out so well. So, does this mean it's as fast as a Lamborghini now? I would hope so. I think it adds, like, easily a couple hundred horsepower. Oh, easily, yeah. Yeah. Oh, or, you want to test that? Power. Yeah, let's test okay, it. All right. <laughs> okay, AJ, how would you rank this? I think it is S tier. I mean, it is God tier, Kaisen. If it adds this much horsepower. I, yeah, I, mean, I think you're right. <clears throat> yeah. The only thing is um, the supports for a little bit of. Yeah. We didn't, we didn't show it very close, but. Yeah, there's a reason we didn't show it very close. It might be missing a leg or two. <laughs> We're sorry, Cohen. Thank you guys for watching this video on 3D printed go kart accessories. And thank you, Cohen, for the great suggestion. If you want to see something 3D printed, let us know in the comments. We'll be sure to print it for you. Like and subscribe for the next video. We got something super excited planned. I think you guys will love it. Thank you for watching this video. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.